In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to plot pixel coordinates into QGIS. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. Here I got my, my Excel file containing the US cities with their latitude and longitude. So the first step to do is to save this Excel file as csv so to do this just head, head on to file click save as and then choose the place where you want to save it and then choose csv file and change the name if you want and then click save after that we will open qgis so if you don't have qgis just head over to official website and then download the version that you want to import our excel coordinates we will go to click on layer and then add layer after that we will click on add delimited text layer in here you just need to click this button to import your csv file click your file and then click open as you can see, the QGIS imported the Excel file with the same information uh, in CSV, like the city and the latitude and longitude. We will now go, uh, go ahead and change the, the coordinate system of our layer. So go to geometry definition. In X field, put your longitude and in Y field, put your latitude and then set your coordinate uh, system in my case my cities are not latitude and longitude corresponding to the wgis 1984 uh, coordinate system so everything is set up now i will just click add then close so as you can see uh, qgis imported and plotted the latitude and longitude of our cities so to make sure our data is plotted correctly we should import a base map to do so go to web and use the open layers plugin if you don't know if you don't have this plugin you can watch my video on how to add a base map in qgis so uh, i'll click on open layers plugin and i will go ahead and import a base map I will import a big maps so here we go we have our plotted cities in our base map and everything looks great so to import your data right click on the imported data and click export then click save futures as here we for the format we will look for SLC file which is the most common type of, of layers I will click SLC file and I will choose where I want to put my and I will choose where I want to put my shift file click save and then click okay there we go we have our shift file i will go ahead and remove other file so now we have our shift file we can change the symbology for example and change the color click okay and apply okay we can also add levels by right clicking and selecting um, show levels we can also play with these levels by clicking on, on properties and going to levels for the text we can change the color for example and go put red and we can also add a background to highlight our our text I will, so we we'll click on background and select row background then click apply and then ok so here we go we got our final result if you got some value from this video please like it and subscribe to get more tutorials